Hey guys, what is up? This is Nathan from the Gen Z Biker Blog. I'm here today in Modena, Italy, and I'm about to see a couple Ferrari museums. There's one here in Modena, and then there's another in Marinello, Italy. So we just took the train from Milan, Italy. It was about a two and a half hour train ride, and we're ready to go. So right now I'm in the Engine Museum at the Enzo Ferrari Museum, incredible just seeing the house that he was brought up in and raised um, and some of the engines that he first created like the one right behind it only had 112 horsepower I think it said but at that time that that type of power in an engine was incredible it was a v12 engine it was the first he had ever built so right now I'm actually looking at the engine that was used in the 355 Berlinetta which I have actually seen on the road So the horsepower of these engines increases from line to line. These are your V8s, your V12s, your Formula One. Guys, I think my Chevy Trailblazer that I have back home might be a Ferrari. I'm pretty sure I have the same alternator. And now uh, my motorcycle fans out there will think this is pretty cool. Um, in 1932, Enzo Ferrari with the Scudiera Ferrari motorcycle team. So that's pretty cool. Now these Formula One engines are absolutely insane. I mean, this one right here, 750 horsepower, 805 horsepower. Now this Formula One car here was the 100th win for Ferrari in the Grand Prix, but I can't say I would want to be sitting in that seat for too long. It is not comfortable looking. So now after seeing the engine room, then you can come into the, what they call the movie room. There's a bunch of older Ferraris um, on display, so you can check those out and then I believe every 40 or so minutes they'll play a movie kind of telling you the history of Enzo Ferrari. And honestly just the classic old Ferrari look gets me every time. The leather in them looks so buttery soft. Now tell me that this leather in here does not look tasty. Now just the build quality of all of these Ferraris is absolutely incredible. As you can see in the back there's diamond stitched leather and it's all this is all premium hand stitched leather. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've never even heard of the Ferrari Super America before, but it's a 2005 model. This thing is just a beast. The style of this vehicle is absolutely incredible to me. They do need a better detailer though. There's a ton of swirls in the paint here. I used to be a uh, professional automotive detailer, so the paint really gets me going here. Now, although I would definitely take any Ferrari if someone handed me the keys, the Ferrari California is definitely my least favorite model out of the entire Ferrari lineup. So now behind me is the 2018 Ferrari SP1. Now this SP1 was a prototype um, designed to kind of mimic the 1950s Ferrari racing cars and uh, this was never put into production but it was just a prototype but man is it a badass car. Now the aerodynamics of this car are absolutely incredible. They, you could tell that there's so many weight reduction components to it. Now as an advertising major at Marquette University one of my favorite things to do when I'm at museums like this is to check out some of the old advertisements that they had produced for the the vehicles back in the time of uh, their production. So it looks like here we've got a print ad for the George Vanderbilt Cup and it was 25 cents. So now I'm gonna get a quick lunch and then it's gonna be off to the Marinello Ferrari Museum which is just a shuttle bus away and it's a uh, 12 euros round trip. Back. <laughs> So we just got off the bus and now we're at the Ferrari Factory Museum. Yeah, 
So now right here we've got a 500cc Rudge motorcycle which was actually raced by Gutierrez Ferrari team um, in the early days of Ferrari. So according to this placard, Scudiera Ferrari participated in motorcycle races with Rudge Whitworth, Norton, and Benelli motorcycles and they won 44 races and three national titles. So now if you remember back to previously in the video when I showed you guys the Monza S1 at the other Ferrari museum, this is what it was loosely based off of. The Monza S1 um, prototype was based off of this. So right here we've got an 812 Superfast. By far, the Superfast is one of my favorites solely based on the ass end of the car. The back of this car is beautiful. So it's amazing. I consider myself a pretty big car guy and some of these Ferraris I've never even came across before. For example, this is a Ferrari 340mm. It's a right-hand drive vehicle. And then these are pretty cool. These look to be build request letters. So when someone of wealth goes to Ferrari and says, hey, I want to build a Ferrari, they spec them out and then eventually once they get commissioned, they would send this back to the, the person that requested it to be done. Now look at this beautiful Ferrari Enzo. The back end of the Enzo is so thick and then the front just evens off to a point, just inches from the ground. So right now we're in the Driven by Enzo exhibit. Now these cars are cars that Enzo personally enjoyed to drive. And I gotta say, I think the man had some pretty great taste. This beautiful Ferrari 250 GT2 Plus 2 is incredible. I'm absolutely in love with the interior on this, the bloody red guts. Now talk about a car that was meant for the track. This car is absolutely unreal. Ferrari FXXK Evo. This is loosely based off of a La Ferrari. Now, obviously, this is meant for the track, but it puts out 1,050 horsepower, which is insane. 